Hi folks, if you'd like to learn how to make this wonderful gooey soft brownie right at home in your very own kitchen, hang around. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 200 grams of cooking chocolate chips and 150 grams of chopped butter and we're going to melt that in a glass bowl over some simmering water. So we'll just make sure that that's still simmering. There we go. Lovely. So just tip all of that in. Nice. There we go. Now this will take some time because you don't want to rush this. If you rush it, you're going to risk burning the chocolate and then your recipe just won't turn out. And no one wants a deformed brownie. Lovely. While that's melting down, we're just going to preheat our oven to 160 degrees or 140 degrees if it's fan force. Man, it's getting hot in here. You, I hope you don't mind I take um, button a couple of buttons here. I hope you don't mind that. Just make sure you stir the mixture every now and then just to make sure that it's melting evenly. Ah, I'm melting! Melting! Oh. Once that's all cooked through and the whole mixture is nice and runny and evenly melted, you just want to set that aside to cool for five minutes. Five minutes later. Okay. So now that that has rest for five minutes and just allowed itself just to cool down a little, got here a beautiful, gorgeous, silky, almost a ganache-like mixture here. I was motherfucking ready! I was ready to do so! We have pre-prepared three eggs. Yeah, chickens. Which we have lightly whisked, just there in the bowl. We're going to add those to our mixture. Mix that about. Just gently, you don't want to be making a mess at this stage. You dirty pig! No one likes a messy brownie. Now that we've just mixed through, like this, we're going to take our dry ingredients, three quarters of a cup of flour, and we've got one cup of caster sugar, and about a third of a cup here of cocoa. And we're just going to sift that through our mixture, the combined. And the cocoa, so that's one third of a cup. We go now. It's really important that you don't get these chunky little bits here. Get out! Left in there, we don't want those. No! And take a wooden spoon, and we just want to fold that through. Make that all nice and mixed. How do I fold it through, David? <laughs> you just fold it, David. You just fold it in. I can't tell you everything. And I cannot show you everything. Here we go. We're now left with a gorgeous, beautiful, dark brownie mixture. B E A beautiful. We're going to pop into our brownie pan. So we're not going to go down the route of greasing and flouring our brownie pan. We're just going to pour the mixture straight into the middle of the baking sheet. To do is we want to make sure that we get all the mixture to the edges of the brown tin. There we are. So our mixture is all the way to the four corners. Give it a little shake just to make sure that it's nice and settled. And we're going to go ahead and pop that into the preheated oven for 40 minutes. Looks pretty good to me. Let's just see if it's cooked through. We just take a skewer. Dip it into the middle. It's a little under. It's a little bit under. I'm going to pop it back in for another five to seven minutes and see how it goes. Yes, it's back. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes. Let's go check the oven. See what we've got. 
much better. Much better. <laughs> So we're gonna do now is let that cool for about 15 minutes and then we'll carve her up. And there we are. Lovely made fun brownies from my kitchen to yours. Let's tuck into one of these. And this is soft and gooey. Oh my god. Mm. Until next time, see you then.